Hello everyone and welcome to AP Computer Science A Lessons where we are going to finish our last lesson in Unit 1 called Numeric Cast. Okay. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay. We saw in our last lesson with arithmetic expressions how Java handles mixed expressions um, and how less complex data types are promoted temporarily into more complex data types and then the expression is evaluated. So something like this uh, is what we saw in the last lesson. So if x is 9 and y is 2 and then I have a variable called z which is going to store a double. I have this 1.0 times x times y. 1.0 times x div or excuse me divided by y <laughs> between the multiplication and division those are the same precedents, so they happen in order from left to right. So the 1.0 times the x happens first, and you have a 1.0, which is a double, times 9, which is an integer. So 9 gets promoted to a double temporarily, and you have um, multiplication between two doubles, which is going to result in a 9.0. And then you have division another mixed expression with division. You have the double divided by um, an integer. Integer gets promoted. 9 divided by 2 when you have two doubles is going to be a 4.5. 4.5 gets stored into z. So when the output on the screen happens, you're going to get a 4.5 on your console. Okay. And that's how Java handles mixed expressions. And what this is, is actually an example of casting, but an implicit cast, meaning that we don't explicitly do it. Now, an explicit cast looks like this, okay? Where we use the word double and make it happen, okay? So instead of taking 1.0 times x and implicitly having Java promote, we are promoting ourselves, essentially. Okay. where we say we put the double in parentheses, that's the cast, and we say you're going to cast that x temporarily again into a double. Okay, So it changes one data type to another, again, temporarily. Okay, x doesn't get changed permanently. x is still in an integer container, but the value of x gets temporarily promoted in the expression. Um, when we when that happens, okay, when we take the data type into a bigger box per se, visualize that box going from an integer to a double and fitting that in into the box, we call that a widening conversion. Okay, when we go the opposite way, trying to fit um, the data type into a smaller box, so trying to fit like a double into an int, um, we call that a narrowing conversion. Okay, sorry. We call that a narrowing conversion, which does not happen implicitly. We've had errors when we've tried to fit a double into an integer. Our compiler will give us an error. But we can do it explicitly with casting. Okay? With casting, we just have a little bit more control over our widening and narrowing conversions. So let's go over our widening conversions, since that's what we've done with our expressions so far. So that expression, the 1.0 times x divided by y, that's a widening conversion. And it's something Java automatically does in mixed expressions. So we've seen that the integers temporarily get promoted to doubles. Okay. The actually putting double in parentheses is also widening conversion, is also casting. We just call that an explicit one because you're explicitly doing that. That's your purpose. So I have some code here of just different ways that casting is done. Okay, So let's take a look at this first one. Double x equals 7.2. Or 7.2, sorry. 7 divided by 2. So 7 divided by 2 is still integer division. Okay, It doesn't matter what x is supposed to, con what container x is in right now. 7 divided by 2, those are still two integers. So Java still performs integer division and then stores it in a double. So 7 divided by 2 as integer division is going to be 3. Right? 2 goes into 6 three times, 
with a remainder of 1. So 3 is going to be our value. Because it gets stored in a double, it's 3.0. Now we have our explicit cast in parentheses right before the 7 divided by 2. So what happens, the cast happens first on the 7. Okay, The division does not happen first here. When it's written like this, the cast happens on the value that is coming directly behind it. Okay, So it happens on the 7. The 7 gets promoted to a 7.0. And then we have a mixed expression, 7.0 divided by 2. And that's when Java will promote the 2 to 2.0, and we have double division. So 7 divided by 2, double division, gives us 3.5. And then that's stored in y, which is a double. Okay. Now let's say I had the parentheses around the 7 divided by 2. Okay. So and it, this can be done with or without the space here, I should note, but I have a space here. <laughs> um, but the 7 divided by 2, Java does operations inside parentheses first. So it will take the 7 divided by 2 first. Now, the 7 divided by 2 is integer division. Okay? So 7 divided by 2 is 3. And then that 3 is cast. Okay? So the 3 being cast into a double means that the 3 turns into a 3.0, okay? which would have happened whether or not we had that double in parentheses there um, or not. Okay. Now this last one. Okay. Um, again, the double happens on the 7. So we get 7.0. 7.0 divided by 2. Promote the 2 to 2.0. We get 3.5. Okay. Now the problem with this is the container, A. Okay. We're trying to take 3.5 the result that we get from this this expression, and we're trying to store it in A, which is an integer, and that's where we run into problems. Okay, um, a double cannot fit into an integer. Okay, this results in a compiler error, and the message that usually goes along with it is possible lossy conversion. Okay, meaning the conversion that is happening, um, you're going to lose information. Okay, so there's a compiler error. It actually won't do it. Okay. But I talked about a narrowing conversion. I talked about how we could fit a double into an integer. And we can, but we have to do it explicitly. There is no implicit narrowing conversion. Okay. There's an implicit widening and an explicit widening. Okay, Because widening is something that Java will automatically do. But narrowing is not something Java will automatically do, so you have to be explicit if you want to narrow down. Okay, What do I mean? Here's a narrowing conversion example. <laughs> if we want to move from that larger data type to a smaller one, okay, so double to an int, int to a short, whatever it may be. Okay, If we try to do it, as we saw, implicitly, we get a compiler error. We must explicitly cast and use a numeric cast. Now, if we explicitly cast and we want to go from a double to an int, we do lose information because we're going from a bigger piece to a smaller piece. Right? So if we're trying to fit a big box into a small box, we crumple it up and, and try to fit it in, you're going to lose information. And what you lose going from a double to an int is the decimal part okay? by what we call truncation, not rounding. Okay? Truncation basically chops off the decimal in the double value and says we're going to throw away decimal and everything behind the decimal and we're just going to keep that whole number. Okay, Not rounding. We do not round with a narrowing conversion. We truncate. So here's three examples of a narrowing conversion. The first one is an implicit one where you try to take 3.5 and you try to fit it into an int. This is going to get you that compiler error. It will not work. Your compiler will say possible lossy conversion, and it won't accept it. We have to explicitly do it, and that's what the next line is doing, where you put int into parentheses, and you explicitly say, I want to take this 3.5, and I want to force it into this int container. Java will chop off the decimal. It'll chop off the, 4 .3, or the 0 0.5, and it'll just keep the 3. So 3 is the value that gets stored in your int y in your container. And it's not rounding. So no matter what your decimal is, it'll always chop it off. So that last one there, int z, 
z is going to get the value of 3. The decimal gets chopped off. Okay. Explicitly cast. Okay. okay, so that's your casting. Hopefully straightforward, very short lesson, um, nice and easy. And thank you for watching this lesson. That actually wraps up our unit one on primitive data types um, with our lesson five. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.